Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, so today we've got one system from the user Vox or VOX um, from Discord to uh, check out. So a massive thank you to them for sending in this simulation but without further ado let's check it out. So it's called the Voxium system. So let's go ahead and uh, go in here see what we've got today. Okay right. So let's uh, zoom all the way into the middle. Okay oh never mind. Uh, orbits. Ah, uh, okay, right. So, in 2780, an expedition led by Voxius Holbert was sent to a sun-like star. There are two main planets, no asteroid belts, and three moons. One gas giant named Voxium, one planet that resembles early Earth, and one moon that resembles Venus, a heavily cratered moon, and a recently terraformed world full of prehistoric animals put there so an experiment could be conducted. A large crater makes um, Killer Bay which is visible from space. This moon is also set in of one of my stories of which a time of writing, this is only a prologue, set in the Cretaceous Plains of North Africa where DNA donors of two animals, Spinosaurus and a Carharodontosaurus, both die at the hands of flash flood um, being smothered by waves of mud and debris. Thanks for reading this, now have fun. Okay, interesting. Right, so here's the Voxium system. So, first of the planets. So here we are. All the way down here. Whoa, oh, I love the colour on that. That's very funky. I really, I really like the way that one looks. I mean, it's very unique with the blue at the bottom as well. I mean, I do like that. That is a cool looking world. So, onto the moon. So, I'm guessing this is the Venus like moon. So, as we can see, very thick atmosphere there. there. If we look underneath, that's what it looks like. So, yeah, very, very Venus like um, indeed there. Cool. It's also got rings around the gas giant as well. And then we've got Cratora over here. So this is the moon. There's the big crater he was talking about right there. So it's been uh, bashed into smithereens. So there's that. Cool, cool. Um, now, temperature monitoring probe. Okay, so we've got a bunch of fragments out here as well. So that's probably cool from cool, a collision. Then we've got Voxius over here. So this is the uh, Earth-like moon. So as we can see, it's got um, an... Nice South Pole area there as well. So obviously, um, Earth-like conditions. He said it was like an early Earth. So if we look at the stats, 93 and 70. So yeah, pretty good stats. Looking cool. Okay. Nice. And then the rest are all fragments. Okay, so there's all of those guys. Then we've got another fragment. Then we have um, uh, Gaia 2. Okay, so there is that one as well. So that's a, um, that also sort of could be the early Earth, actually. So if you look under there, quite a desert, more of like a desert-like looking world almost. So there is that world there. Okay, cool. And I think that is everything for this system. So obviously very, very quick. We're going to have to do another simulation, guys, because that was... I mean, how long did that take us? That took us less than four minutes. So, yeah, guys, please, please keep an eye. I say I've been saying it in the most, um, in the more recent videos of this series. Please send larger systems because systems like this, I mean, they're, they're they're three minutes long. We need larger simulations. So yeah, please keep that in mind when uploading your systems. We need we need larger systems. Uh, but luckily, I've got a second one downloaded as well. So if I go to open here, uh, my simulations, it's it's this one here. It's called the Hexa Trinary System. So here we are here. Let's go ahead and click on that. Right. So let's see what we have got here. Okay. Oh. Oh, it looks like it's another small system. Yeah, please, guys. Please send larger simulations because it takes us, like, two minutes to do it. So, yeah, we need we need bigger ones than that. So, anyways, hexa A and B. Barry center in the middle. So there's center of gravity. Then we've got a planet here. So it's a gas giant. As we can see, no moons. All right. So that's all alone. And then... Uh, Hattel Zone then taking a big jump out. We've got another system, a Hexa Junior. Kind of amount, this definitely reminds me of the Alpha Centauri system with the two big main stars over there. And then you've got the uh, small red dwarf. So we've got Junior B. So this is like Proxima B, I'm guessing. Quite a nice um, a nice design actually for it. But yeah, this, this must be inspired by Alpha Centauri system. It has to be. And then there's also a Hexa Junior C. So Alpha Centauri A and B. Then you've got Proxima here. And then this would be Proxima B and C would be um, my guess here. So there we are. And I think that is it for, for that simulation as well. So surely that's the quickest time we've ever done two simulations in sub five minutes. I mean, <laughs> yeah, please, guys, please send larger simulations. Because this is, this is ridiculously small. So yeah, please, please send um, 
larger systems. Um, okay, so we've got one more system here. I'm just going to... There is one from the workshop, um, but... For, for quick sake, I will just hop to the next simulation after. Don't worry, I will go back to this other simulation. But we've got a simulation from Nick118 here. So it's called the Proxero system. So we'll go ahead and uh, get that installed right now. Go into the open and then um, here it is. So let's see what let's see what Nick has got for us here. So hopefully it's a simulation that's a little larger. Okay, yeah, it's looking good already. All right, welcome to a single star system. Proxeros, a system of eight planets. The system is very stable like most star systems. Okay, this is my first ever system created on his new PC. All right, nice, cool. So there it is. And it's obviously a lot bigger than the two simulations we've just previewed. So looking good. Okay, so onto the star itself here. So as we can see, looks to be sun-like in size, mass. Yep, so very, very similar to the sun stats. Little larger, more of like an Alpha Centauri A sort of object. Cool. Right, onto the first of the planets. It looks like it's tidy locked in some way. As we can see, you've got a very, very hot red area here. Let's click play. So, let's let, let, let things uh, play out. Whoa, what is going on there? That, um, that's interesting. <laughs> what is that all about? It's cool nonetheless, but yeah, there it is. We've got a very, uh, it's like it's been hit by an object. Um, it looks like, it's, yeah, it's definitely like it's been hit like by an object that contains a lot of water. That's pretty cool. So that's the first of the planets. So definitely has some sort of collision um, on it by the looks of things. But you see that water. It's definitely like something with a, a planet of waters hit it. Anyways, next object out. So Proerx so C over here. So this is a Mercury sort of light well. Just rocky, quite hot in temperature. So there it is. Okay, next up we got Proxeros D over here. So this one is a nice purple one. Uh, purple looking world actually so that's looking uh it's looking pretty good actually i'm liking it so minus 40 degrees as we can see here uh looking underneath obviously a snow sort of like world underneath as well looking cool so there's that then we've got d1 over here so as we can see i'm um, a nice uh basic sort of green looking moon then we've got d2 over here so two simple moons Nice spherical uh, orbit. Then next up we've got Proxeros E over here. Pro X, I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I'm getting it wrong. Uh, and then we've got uh, two minor moons in orbit there. Cool. Right, next jumping out, uh, we've got uh, Planet F over here. Quite a cool looking banded gas giant actually. I'm liking it. Sort of a natural sort of gas giant looking design. Looking good actually. I hope you don't mind. But I may, uh, I may get a cheeky save of that. And the same with that blue gas giant from earlier in the video. I may um, go back and get a say of that as well because that one's really cool. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool looking one. Nice, uh, nice uh, one I can add to the collection I've got really. So that's cool. Maybe I'll use it in a system at some point. Uh, next up we've got um, F3, F4, F5. So we've got a lot of moons in here. They're looking all fairly basic. They don't look customised or anything. So we'll quickly just hop through them all. So the, the oh, game's been a little slow for us. Come on game, behave yourself. And yeah, there they all are. So there's a lot, lot of uh, basic looking moons in there. Next up, we've got uh, G Planet G over here. So that's an all sort of orangey sort of looking gas giant there. It's also got its own set of moons. But I think they're all just generic moons. I mean, I'm just going to skip through most of them because, yeah, they, they all look really generic. So there we are. We've got a Titan-like moon as well. So that's what it looks like underneath. Okay, cool. Next up, we've got uh, Planet H over here. So this is more of an ice giant design. So as we can see, it's got eight planets. We can sort of see some similarities with the solar system going on here. So this is the Uranus equivalent. The one we just looked at was definitely a Saturn object because it had the Titan moon. So that's just my sort of uh, interpretation of it. So that would be the Uranus-like moon. And then next up, we've got the Neptune-like moon. So as we can see, the orbits get bigger and bigger every jump, exactly like the solar system as well. So if we look in here, you've got the inner planets. So you've got a Mercury it's an Earth and a Mars equivalent, and you've got a big jump the Jupiter, the Saturn, the Uranus, and then finally the Neptune-like object at the very end. So the last of the gas giants. This one has actually um, got a quite a cool, um, cool sort of orbit going on here. So it looks uh, more like Uranus in colour, actually. It's almost like they swapped the Uranus and Neptune around in this simulation. It's also tilted on its side, which is quite cool. Yeah, I like it when uh, I like it when we see ones like this. They're pretty cool. Um, realistic studio lights. So as we can see, the planet isn't tilted on its side, but the moons are. So the planet is orbiting, yeah, is, is tilted fairly normally. It's North Pole and South Pole are in the sort of normal areas. It's definitely not tilted on its side. But the moon orbits, on the other hand, are tilted on their side. So what do you think of that? So there they all are. 
and by the looks of it it is all um all generic sort of looking moons so there we are guys that pretty much does it for this simulation as well so you've managed to quick fire three simulations in today's video as yeah they're all really really short i mean how long have we been filming now we've been filming just over 10 minutes i mean for three simulations in 10 minutes please guys make sure you send larger simulations um in the future as we we whizzed through all of those so there we are but yeah nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed me um featuring your simulations in this video as well it's nice to get a lot done in one video actually so it helps us um get through the list quicker um but yeah there we are so that does it for all of these simulations so i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to hit that like button subscribe for more uh and yeah guys if you'd like to uh, send in your own simulations for this series as well make sure to join my discord server link in the description and you can upload your uh simulations um in our us2 simulation upload chat and then um once i do your simulation i put like a little neptune emoji next to it so to show that i've done it and then, um, yeah, that's the way we can sort of work out um, which uh, one I'm on, on in the big list of things. So, yeah, please keep that in mind um, that there is, a, there is a bit of a waiting queue. I mean, I'm only one guy and there is, I mean, we're, we're probably talking hundreds of systems that I've done over the years. I mean, maybe even a thousands of systems I've done over the years. I mean, there's a lot of simulations I've gone through. And I think thousands is a bit drastic. I've done hundreds, though. So... Yeah, and the queue still has loads of stuff on it. I mean, we're on episode, what, two? We're coming up to episode 200, and I sometimes do more than one, uh, well, I, yeah, I sometimes do more than one um, simulation per video, so I must be, I must have done almost, I don't know, three, four hundred systems at this point in time, so, I mean, it's absolutely crazy. And, yeah, really, really glad you guys um, enjoy me checking out your simulations, really. So, yeah, massive thank you to all the three guys that sent in their simulations for today's video, and like I said, if you want to submit your own, just join my Discord server, upload it in there, and I'll get around to doing it um, at some point. But yeah, that all said and done, enough of me babbling on about stuff. So make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.